not sponsored, by the way. Just so we're clear. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be developing 35 millimeter film with the lab box. And before we jump into things, I now know it's 120 film. It's not 120 millimeter. Won't make that mistake ever again. Anyway, guys, to prepare the lab box, we're going to need to put the 35 millimeter back onto it. But right now, the 120 back is on. So let's take that off, put this on. We'll go through that. So the first thing we're going to do is take the lid off. And we're going to not make the SpongeBob joke this time. We'll put that aside. Then we're going to take the little film guide off we'll throw that aside as well we'll remove the crank I'll just pull straight off and once again as I said in the last video this is the normal crank that the lab box comes with I just have the Kickstarter version so mine looks a little bit different but not a big deal at all we can remove the film reel from the inside Mine's still a little wet from the last time I was using it and they also recommend that your lab box should not uh, be wet when you uh, when you use it so Dryer is off better than mine. And the last thing you'll do is you'll hit this little latch down here, push directly up. It's a little stiff and weird from this angle because I'm going around the camera, but there you go. You'll hear the click, pops right off. Beautiful. We'll just put this aside for now. Okay, and now we're gonna take the 35 millimeter back and we'll just connect it on, click it down. Good to go. Now in the back here, there's this little, this little flippy boy, this little switch. I just give that a quick test to make sure that it is summoning the blades. That is going to be used to cut your film to make sure that's all functioning and everything looks good. Cool. So now we can put this aside because what we have to do is take apart the reel. And remember what I said in the last video, these are labeled left to left. So let's take the 120 film reel apart. You'll just twist and pull them right off and put them aside. Beautiful as always. We are just killing it, guys. Once again, a very important reminder, you match the left to the left, you put it on, you're gonna slide it all the way in this time, and click it into place. The L will be on the outside. And of course, on the opposite side, we have R to R, we'll just put them on, twist it into place, and you're good to go. Now we'll take this and make sure the label side is facing up, and we'll drop it into the lab box. We'll make sure it goes all the way down so we can put our crank back in. So we'll take the crank, slide it right into place here, and we'll twist that to make sure it locks. And now, just quickly to make sure, it does spin when you turn it. Awesome, so we'll move that aside. I usually leave it dangling so it doesn't fall on the inside, but not a big deal if it does. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the film guide. This was stretched out for the 120 film, so let's just give this a little squeeze. It comes together, it clicks into place, and now it is the guide for your 35 millimeter film. And we can just drop that right back into place. And there you go, now you're ready for 35 millimeter film. But there's one other thing you have to do, and this to me is the most annoying part. So in order for this to work, obviously we need a roll of 35 millimeter film, but we need to get the little lead of the film out of here. So they've provided this handsome film lead retrieval tool that I suck at using, but I'm gonna show you how to do it, and hopefully you'll do it better than I do. So the idea is that this little tool splits apart like that. We take the tool while it's collapsed like this, and we're gonna slide it inside the canister until it gets this little notch right here. So now that it's in, we're gonna hold this little notch right here and pull out the end of the tool. So you see now it's fully extended. With the tool in there, we're gonna start turning this counterclockwise until we hear a click. So I'm gonna shut up so you can hear the click. Okay, so we heard the click and now what we do is we rotate in the opposite direction. So we go regular clockwise. And we do this until we feel resistance. Now we hold the rolly part of the roll, the hub in place, and we push this in. And now we grab this and we very slowly and carefully pull it out. First try, baby. There we go. Cool, so now we're good to go. So they recommend at this point that we cut the little flappy part off here. So I'm just gonna do one of these. Beautiful. So now we load our film into here and this part's pretty important. We wanna make sure that the film passes underneath these metal bars as it goes in. Now we'll take the clippy part here, we'll open it up and it's gonna yum yum eat them up. Clip it right on there, right in the middle, 
leave it like that. So the idea now is that when we crank this, we'll pull the film into the depths. Okay, I'm not gonna do it obviously because we're in the light. But now you're good to go. So let's put the lid on and we will advance this slowly. Once you come to a point where you feel resistance, this is where the little blade comes in. So in the back over here, we'll just flick this switch up, down, up. There you go. Flick it up, it'll chop the film, and then you can finish rolling it onto the reel. Now there's no resistance, it's all wound in there. Now we can pour in our chemistry and agitate away. Once again, they recommend using the half full method, so that's 250 milliliters, constant agitation. You can do the full method, but I think in the instructions they say the half full is more consistent or something, I don't remember. All right, so once again, I'm using the Cinestill DF96 mono bath. Uh, I've used it enough times now where it needs to be way more than three minutes. It's actually up to the length of Play Crack the Sky by Brand New, so this is a nice treat for me. Uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna listen to that song uh, while I do this agitation. So I'll see you on the other side because I'm not trying to get demonetized. Oh man, it's like a better arm workout than Pornhub. Okay, and now we can wash the film and we're good to go. Anyway guys, you should be good from here. All you have to do is take your film out and then you can scan it, print it, whatever you'd like to do, and that's it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I typically have an easier time developing 35mm film as opposed to the 120 film in the lab box, but either way, both of them are pretty straightforward. So I hope these tutorials help you get going with the lab box. Like I said, the only thing you really gotta look out for is the reel. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, thank you for subscribing, and if you're not already, you should hit that subscribe button and maybe, uh, finger the bell or something. That was weird phrasing. Anyway, you you can catch me here on YouTube, on MySpace, on Discord, on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, not Facebook because I don't really use Facebook anymore. But yeah, guys, thank you so much as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. In the lab box, in my opinion, in my experience, whatever. God damn it, this sucks so much. If, if you're, at, and you give it a little pull, and you fuck it up. <laughs> You hear that click, it's a little like a click, and <laughs> great, great English. Like and subscribe to Sweet Lou Photography, the man.